National League wild card game on ESPN. Tonight's telecast is presented by Hancock Tire. You heard Tim Kirch and Dallas Braden, and they are fired up. Everybody is fired up because what a matchup we've got for you tonight here in Flushing. The Giants with Madison Bumgarner on the mound, the Mets with Noah Syndergaard on the mound, and only one team can advance. The 260 ERA, the third lowest ERA in the National League, and he was a big, big factor for the Mets in the postseason last year as a rookie. Take a look at the Giants' starting lineup tonight. Well, Bruce Bochy wisely moved Brandon Belt to the two spot just a week ago, and he has been on fire since going there, hitting 370, and he's been their best on base guy all season long and then right behind him I feel like this is the guy to go against Noah Syndergaard no one hits high velocity fastballs better than Buster Posey you look at his numbers throughout his career I believe he's the guy to get the big hit tonight one two got it and a slow roller down to first Syndergaard over to cover two down two two again and a ground ball to the left side. Third baseman Reyes up with it on to first in time, and the Giants go in order. Syndergaard off to a good start. Bumgarner to the mound when we come back. Let's check out the lineup that Terry Collins has written in there for the Mets tonight. Well, Yoenis Cespedes in that three hole comes in struggling the final month of the season, but he has worn out left handed pitching this season, a 624 slugging percentage. And Jay Bruce in the six hole. He has really come on in the final week, started to have an impact with the bat. Although he's got a tough draw tonight, and someone that's really had his number, Bumgarner, three for 23 in his career. Madison Bumgarner, 15 and 9 this year, a career high in innings, a career low ERA, a career high in strikeouts, eventually released by the Rockies, signed by the Mets, came back and played well for them. In the second half of the season, not at his typical show. It's not bothering him when he swings the bat. Back to the mound, knocked down by Baumgartner, and plenty of time to get Cabrera two down. Handed it yet. Popped him up. Crawford. And the Mets, like the Giants, go in order in the first. No score after an inning. Hunter Pence will lead it off for San Francisco when we come back. Drives the ball to center field. Curtis Granderson back with room. Got him swinging. Two down. Inning over. Overmatched him. Porto played a few games out there, but Granderson, who hadn't played full time center field in four years, handled the position in recent weeks. Kind of sandwiched around. Popped him up. It'll be Belt to make the catch and quickly. The pitch count is extremely low for Bumgarner through two after that fly ball to right field. Six up and six down on 14 pitches for Bumgarner so far. Got him on three pitches. Four consecutive strikeouts for Syndergaard. Ball in Madison Bumgarner. And he swings at the first pitch and sends a fly ball to left center deep, but playable for Granderson. And the inning is over. And he lines the ball into center field, the first base runner of the night. He's now three for four, small sample size alert, but. Three for four in his career against Bumgarner. As James Loney hits the first pitch out to second. To the bag one, on to first, still in time. In spite of a little bobble juggle there by Crawford, still had time to get Loney for the double play. Fastball swung on and missed, and it's another very quick inning for Bumgarner. No score at the end of three. Buster only with Bruce Bochy when we come back. 3-2. Just high for ball four, and the Giants have their first base runner of the night. There, reflect that. Runner goes, pitch high, throw down, and out at second is Span. And he's saying, no, no, no. 
have a look. And the Giants dugout is doing just that. It's all going to be where the tag ends up. I think the tag might have come in high with Span possibly getting underneath. Left foot to the bag before the glove is on the midsection. Boy, that one, if, if I'm the Giants, I'd at least want to have a look. Remember, in a playoff game, he's in there safely. Yeah. In, in a playoff game, you get two challenges, so you can get one wrong and still retain another. So you got to think the Giants are going to look at this, and they are. The only question I would have, his foot definitely beats that tag. Does he hold the bag the entire time? Before replays, you would never see someone slide like that. Wow. Ouch! Bochi can't believe it. Span can't believe it. Die to describe why they made the call that they did. And now Belt will draw the walk. And Posey with a fly ball to right field takes Bruce back. Two down. There he goes. 3 2. Swung on and missed, and the inning is over. Strikeout number six for Noah Syndergaard. Scoreless still at City Field. In winner take all games, and he hasn't given up a run yet. Fly ball to right field, one down. 2 2. Fair ball. And Cabrera will be content with a single. Yes, he did, says home plate umpire Mike Winters. He went around, and that's out number two. Runner goes. And a swing and a ball driven to center field, but Span is there, and the inning is over. No runs of base hit a demand left. We're at the end of four at City Field. Still no score. First pitch swinging, Brandon Crawford. Fly ball center field. One down. Got him with a 93 mile an hour slider. Two down. Went back to it. Another change, and he struck him out again. Eight strikeouts through five scintillating innings for Noah Syndergaard. He keeps mowing them down, and it remains scoreless. John Lester will start game one for the Cubs on Friday. Here's a looper down the left field line. That's going to drop in for a hit. On his way to second, T.J. Rivera in there with a stand-up double. Injury decimated team as Bruce swings through it. And a ground ball to short. They got the runner hung up. Got him in a rundown between second and third. The tag applied, but Rene Rivera does wind up at second on the play. So in effect just trading places with T.J. Rivera. Now two down to start the game here tonight. There's the intentional walk. Swing and a miss at a slow curveball, and that's the inning as the Mets will leave a couple of men on. At the end of five, Giants nothing, Mets nothing here in the wild card game. One, two. On the appeal, he went around, and that's strikeout number nine. Strikeout number ten. And a base hit into center field for Span. The first hit of the night for the Giants. Second, he is leaning. He got a big time jump. Throw down on a bounce, not in time. 2 2. Fly ball, center field and deep. Granderson still going back. Made the catch! He made the catch as he crashes into the wall. A remarkable play by Granderson to keep this game scoreless. Bouncer to third. Big hop for Gillespie. And the stretch by Belt. One down. Let's go back to the. Up and away. He walked him. He went around and he knew it. Couldn't hold up on the high fastball. Two down. Fly ball to shallow center field. And that's the inning. A man left on. We're through six. There's no score. And it's 3 4 5 coming up for the Giants. 
Off the end of the back, ground ball to first. Nice stop there by Loney. Run down. The outfield. And a two hopper, routine to short. Cabrera, two down. Ball four. Missed ball four. And a bouncer to the right side. Syndergaard over to cover, but not in time. Pagan, who still runs well, will beat it out for an infield hit. And it's first and second for the Giants. And a bouncer. Cabrera got him. The Giants leave a couple of men on. Syndergaard gets out of trouble. T.J. Rivera. Backhanded stop Crawford sets his feet and fires one over to first to get him what an arm Fly ball to center still going back but with room Denard span two down as we send it down to Buster favorites if you will the Chicago Cubs as Rivera fights one off towards right field but Pence is there and it's a quick inning for Bumgarner needs only eight pitches. He has thrown seven shutout innings, and it is still scoreless here at City Field. Well, Addison Reed on 80 times this season. It was a dominating year, a whip under one, an outstanding strikeout to walk ratio. And bounces one through the right side for a base hit. He's got one now. A sacrifice for Bumgarner moves Gillespie to second. The 1 0. Popped up. A big second out. And now low for ball four as Bell will draw the walk, and that'll bring up Buster Posey. And Posey takes one that bounces off the glove of Rivera. A pass ball on Rene Rivera as the runners will advance. And now after the pass ball, an intentional walk to Posey to load him up for Pence. Fast ball and a swing and a miss to end the inning. Reed gets out of it. The Giants leave him loaded. And it's still scoreless. And he's been that so far tonight. Got him. Sharply hit and pass to Diamond Crawford into left field, a base hit. Top of the order for Jose Reyes. Chops one weakly to the right side. Panic will underhand it onto Belt for the second out as Kelly moves up the second. Back to the mound, snared by Bumgarner. And that's the end of the threat here in the bottom of the eighth. We're at the end of eight, and it is still scoreless between the Giants and the Mets here in the wild card game. And Terry Collins has sent his closer, Juris Familia, to the mound. 51 saves. To left center field, it's going to get down and get all the way to the wall. And Crawford is on his way to second base with a leadoff double. Swing and a miss to get him one down. 3 2. Down and away he walked him. Two men on with a one out. 1 1. And a fly ball well hit right field. Bruce is back, turns, and it's gone. Connor Gillespie with a three run homer in the top of the ninth to give the Giants the lead. Well, Dan, you've talked about some of the heroes for the Giants in their title runs. Ross, Ishikawa, Scudero, now Gillespie getting an opportunity to play. We've seen nothing but quality at bats down the stretch. And Bumgarner hits. Now that they have a three-run lead, Bumgarner gets a chance to hit because they won. Again, the one-two. And a fly ball to left field. Cespit is there. And that's the inning. But Connor Gillespie steps into the spotlight for the Giants and sends a three run home run out of this ballpark to right. And the Giants are three outs away from advancing to the division series. Popped up. Pence 
Runs out from under his cap and makes the catch one down. Fly ball to left. Lots of room for Pagan. Two down in the ninth. Had to pitch to Gillespie. Right center field. And the Giants win it. Behind the pitching of Madison Bumgarner in the ninth inning home run off the bat of Connor Gillespie. The Giants are moving on. They beat the Mets three to nothing. And they're headed to Wrigley Field. I want you to be a fascinating series between the Giants and the Cubs as the Mets run comes to an end. The Mets with a great rush at the end of the season, winning 27 of their last 40. A terrific, tremendous performance tonight from Noah Syndergaard. But Juris Familia surrenders the home run to Gillespie in the ninth. And Madison Bumgarner quieted the Met bats all night long.